During tonight's State of the Union, President Trump spelled out his vision for America. I mean, he didn't literally spell it out because spelling isn't something he does, but he told us where he sees the country going. And as is tradition, the State of the Union was followed by several rebuttal speeches. You know, former candidate for governor uh, of Georgia, Stacey Abrams, delivered the Democratic response. Uh, California Attorney General Javier Becerra gave a speech on behalf of Spanish-speaking Americans, and Mitt Romney gave a speech on behalf of Americans who think ketchup is too spicy. <laughs> and here at The Daily Show, we have our own annual response, where we cover the issues that are of special importance to black America. So please rise, but not really. You can just clap as Roy Wood Jr. enters to deliver The Daily Show's annual State of Black Shit Address. <laughs> Good evening, black people, African-Americans, people of color, and white people taking their 23 Me results far too seriously. 2% skim milk. Mm-hmm. I'm Roy Wood Jr., and I'm speaking to you from the capital of black America, the corner booth of a Waffle House in Birmingham, Alabama. I heard this one Dr. King stopped at when he came from Selma. Mm. Mm-hmm. Tonight, we black people are gathered here to once again ask ourselves the question, where we is. <laughs> First of all, we're glad the government shut... We're glad the government shutdown has ended. We're glad the government has opened again. Because let me tell you, this shutdown hit black America especially hard. I was at the airport and I saw a lot of black people working for free. I'm surprised you didn't catch TSA agents singing airport spirituals. Shoes off and laptops out When you bring your carry-on home a classic. <laughs> but we will not... We will not allow the shutdown to overshadow our triumphs from the past year. My fellow black folks, I'm here to tell you with confidence, the state of black shit is black as shit. Mm. In November, in November, more black Congress people than ever were elected to the House of Representatives. Mm. You U.S.A. Okay. U.S.A. Okay. okay. USA. We know where we live. Mm. <laughs> and we're even gaining representation abroad. Meghan Markle is now the second black person in the royal family. Wait, who's the first? The, the first one is the queen. She drives a Bentley. She got all them fancy church hats. That's black. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that is pretty black. That them is hats black. is nice. Yeah, them hats is real nice. <laughs> Another thing to celebrate. Black unemployment is at an all-time low. And for that, we have to thank the president. Obama. Yeah, Obama. You know any other president? What president you thought I was talking about? I don't know. Obama. That's, that's, that's my president. president. That's, that's my president. president. You thought I mean, Obama. You're not talking about Obama. You talking about man. Obama? I don't know that man. Okay, all right then. Now, <laughs> let's talk about the state of black music. Beyonce conquered Coachella. Kendrick took home a Pulitzer. And 2018 was the year we finally stepped up and muted R. Kelly. That mangy uh, bastard. Uh, wait, wait a minute, Madam Speaker. Just hold on. A charge led by black women forced our community to finally confront R. Kelly. He ain't shit. You just, understand just, me? Just let me finish. Let me finish. Our community confronted R. Kelly and finally said, enough is enough. All right, do it now. I said what I said. Okay, cool. Now, of course, 2018 also reminded us that in America today, white people will still call the cops on you just for being black being black at a barbecue, mm. or being black at a pool party, or a lemonade stand. Or just trying to sell a little weed out of your apartment. Mm. That's, that, that's illegal. Okay, whatever. Okay. <laughs> Where was I? Ah, yes, white ladies. When they called the cops on us for no reason, we changed their names to some shit that they'll never live down. And black people rallied together all year long. When Kanye went to the White House and gave a TED Talk and a MAGA hat, black people came together and we boycotted the bad songs on his album. And... <laughs> and to support our brother Colin Kaepernick, we all bought a fresh pair of Nikes. Wearing mine right now. Boy, get your foot off this couch. Dr. King said here. My bad, sorry. <laughs> and this, lastly, brings me to the future of black shit. And the future's looking bright. We're finally getting some criminal justice reform. Jordan Peele's dropping another scary-ass movie. And there's not one but two black people running for president. Kamala and 
Corey. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Team light skin. <laughs> not the time. Not the time for that. It's not the time. Okay. So black people, when you ask the question, where we is, I say to you, we're on our way to a future that's looking bright and a future that's looking black. God bless you. God bless black America. And God bless the 34 TV shows hosted by Michael Strayhands. I say good evening. <laughs>